Okay, question 31 may be difficult if your mathematics are not that strong. So what happened is that they ask you to define or uh, to find an uh, expression that is uh, equal to one coulomb. So you have a few uh, equations that involve coulomb. Coulomb means that the amount of charge uh, represented by the letter Q. So uh, you have these two definitions. So once you have that, you can uh, make this make uh, Q as the subject. So once you make Q as the subject, uh, it is quite uh, straightforward. So I want you to look at uh, B, one ampere second. So of course you don't see uh, see this expression uh, common. It's not a common expression because <laughs> no one used this. <laughs> okay. So what is one ampere second? So ampere is current and second is time. So one ampere second means that one current multiplied by the time. So you see, it's the same expression. So one coulomb is equals to one current times time. So that's why uh, B is your answer. Okay, uh, for the rest, uh, just work it out. It will give you something that doesn't make sense and therefore uh, out. Okay, question 32 uh, is very, very interesting. Okay, uh, I will extend this question at the end and uh, challenge you a little bit. So uh, you have four identical light bulbs, that means uh, their resistance is the same. Uh, okay, if L1 blows, if L1 blows means that uh, this part of the wire will become an open circuit. So all the current will actually go through L3 first before splitting into two parts and enter L2 and L4. So compared to the initial setup, L3 definitely will receive more current and because power is equal to I square R and power is the one that determines the brightness. Huh? So because of that, you receive more current and so your P will increase so L3 will definitely be brighter. And uh, the setter is actually quite linear. If you look at all your options here, there's only one option whereby L3 is brighter. So with that, you know that the answer is A. Now my challenge to you is, can you convince yourself mathematically that L2 and L4 will be dimmer than before? Or I put the question in another way. Why can't L2 and L4 has the same brightness as when L1 is still working? Okay, this is the first challenge. Second challenge that I uh, would like to give is that with this initial circuit, okay, let's say you assume all the light bulb has resistance of R. R ohm. Can you find me the total effective resistance for this circuit? Okay, the tricky part is this wire. Okay, so when you are calculating the uh, total effective current, a uh, total effective resistance, uh, let me know what's your answer. And uh, if you got it correct, uh, I will be very happy for you. Okay, so. Uh, Question 33, you don't really need to calculate anything. You just need to have this concept that uh, when current split into two or um, more than two paths, the path with the least resistance will receive the uh, highest current and the path with the highest resistance will have the smallest current. So if you look at here, uh, there's only one path. So current will not be small here. Then after that it split. So this path offers lower resistance, so most of the current from here will go to 10 ohm. So very little current is going into 30. Okay, so definitely uh, this one will be a smaller current. Why? Because uh, if you look at here, let's say the current going through here is uh, 10 ampere. Okay, when you go to here, it's going to split. Most of the current will come here. After that, it joins back into 10 ampere. 
then it look come to this junction both having same resistance so it's going to divide into equal part so definitely because it's divided into equal part current in D will be uh, larger than the current in C so that's why C is the smallest smallest current okay uh, 34 34 uh, what you need to do is that what you need to know is the length of this uh, wire coiling around this rod so find the circumference of this rod uh, multiply by the number of turns you will get the length of this wire use the uh, formula uh, r equals to resistivity multiplied by length divided by area put in the same put in all the correct parameter you will get c 35 is quite straightforward uh, if you do not know how to calculate uh, kwh uh, refer to the textbook uh, it's pretty simple if you see w convert into kw first multiply by the hour uh, once you have that uh, sum it up and multiply by the cost you will get the answer